Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Evoland. When we last left off we'd exited the mines and then I did about another half an hour of recording and went nowhere. But that research has been important because now I know what I need to do to complete this game. So first off we're going to ignore the airship. Bold move I know. We're actually going to head back to Edel Vale. Why? Because there's a single card left as you can see. And that card is not the card available from either of the shopkeepers because we've already bought them both. The card that I'm missing is the skeleton card, and that is available in this area, and I just missed it before. So, let's go get it. Wow, <laughs> catch that MLG 360 sword swing there? My goodness. Alright, so we're gonna, it's just over here, not far. Alright, let's head over here, and down, and here we are. This is the place we need to be. Destroy that. Slash, slash, and here we are. A new card to play Double Twin. It won't give us a notification just yet about that, because to actually complete that quest, we need to hand that in to the Jaren character in the Aogai City. But we can now go and get the last star of Evo Land while we're at it. We're pretty close. And then we'll play some games of Double Twin, show off the new cards that we've been collecting. See if we can beat it on Medium and Hard and Champion, where the cards get quite serious. We also took a point of damage. That's also very serious. Let's now head back to the airship, probably get attacked along the way. Shockingly not. Alright, so, the last Star of Evo Land, where is it I hear you ask? It is, in fact, over here. In the Sacred Grove. There's the attack we knew was coming. Oh no, more damage. Okay, down here. So in the first grotto that we found, there's some health actually. First off, we need to change the time back to the past. There we are. Boop. I still like these time travel sections, and I've always thought the Zelda sections were the strongest part of the game. So we need to get big. There we are. And head back to the bow and arrow grotto that we found before. This grotto over here. Because just like the mines of Noria, there is in fact a secret area that I missed. I don't actually have the map open, but I, I remember roughly where it's supposed to be, so we'll just keep heading in this general, direct, general direction. Can you see where it might be? Yes, it is! Right here! Behold! You got Mega Star of Evo Land! We have found all the hidden stars! 30 out of 30, 23 out of 23, and 20k of gliss in the bank! I think I'm missing literally just two achievements now for the game in Steam, which is to complete the Shadow Clink boss with taking no damage, and uh, to just amass 50,000 Gliss, which is quite a lot of Gliss, and uh, I don't think I'll be doing that one on camera. That was inevitable, but it's okay. <laughs> we get health back from these bats anyway. Give me health. More health vampire bats, I'm the vampire, attacking the bats. Excellent. Well, now that we've effectively 100% of the game, we can get out of here. Let's shoot that. And then leave. Of course, it's not going to let me leave without making the... Getting back to the future, I guess. Alright. Oh, missed. Missed. There we are. Sniped. Stepping over this effortlessly. So we can now head back to AI Guy City and we will do so. Have some fun of Double Twin. Now I've got some better cards. Alright. And here we are. Let's save the game, of course. So safe right now. And we'll head over to the card-playing gentleman. 
First off, Jaren, where are you? Hello, little boy. Hello, Jaren. Wow, you have found all the double twin cards. You must be a very experienced adventurer. I hope I will reach your level someday. Master Collector. Hmm. All the cards. Now it's your turn. We must keep our spirits high despite what is happening. I'm your man if you want to play a friendly game of double twin. Oh yes I do. Let's play hard mode. Hmm. Now we've got all these powerful cards of our own. So he's going to start off with the Pakun card. Hmm. What shall we use? we got the seed here. It's pretty powerful. The bat. That's the... I don't even know what it's called to be honest, but we have it. <laughs> Some slime and the spider. Let's go for the... The spider's actually not going to be the right call. We could use the seed now if we want to make a strong move. Arguably we do. But let's place this here for now. I think that's a decent call. No way, he's just going to immediately use the undead king on it. Okay then. So that being the case, we're going to use the seed here. Get both of these cards back. There we are. Wow, he's using Clink there. He's doing a good job. I might actually lose this one just because of my bad hand. But hey. I suppose let's not use that one. Let's fortify our position a bit. Place that there. Of course, he just shoves Karras on top of it. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting bodied. Hard mode is hard, apparently. Oh, only the seed is left standing. I lose. Losing? Well, let's try that again. Give me a new hand. Here we are. I got Zephos, Babamut, Skaven, uh, Zumba, and the seed. And that being the case, let's start with the, uh, the Skaven, shall we? Put the spider on it, that's okay. We'll put, put the, uh, the Zumba up here. Wow, he uses the, uh, Clefa's Ghost. Now, of course, the star means it's absolute power. So we want to be careful not to misuse that. And not expose our flanks unnecessarily. But I do would like to win that card. So let's put down the seed here. Ah, he didn't have a good answer to that. That's good. So we could use down here Babamut. It's a little bit wasting of that right power, but nothing to the right's gonna matter. Okay, he's gonna take Babamut back. So we're even, but I get to put down Zephos, which I think will tie it out. Yeah, there we are. That's a victory. That was a nice, oh, that was a nice game. Let's play a champion game, shall we? Mmm, serious business. The fact that I start with a, 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 a Torque and a Bat though, not the best start. At least we got a Clefus Ghost. Hmm, yeah, I've got a lot of dead cards here. Like, I have to play Zephos if I actually take that. I guess we'll put this here for now. Oh, he got a Zumba. Okay then. So. I kind of don't really have a good card to play here, to be honest. If I put this here, it's going to be easy to take back. Okay. Let's put this here. It's going to mean I at least get that top card. Okay, so he takes Clefa's ghost back. It means I could put uh, Zephos here and grab back Clefa's ghost. I still lose though because he got to play his final card. Yeah. Close game. To be honest, that was easy. Well, I had three bad cards in my opening hand. Let's try this again. This is looking a bit more powerful already. Alright, there goes Claris. 
So some fives and sixes would do us do us well here. Now let's put down the, the turtle here. There we are. Oh, that will kill <laughs> Yes. Yes, that does kill her. Yes, it does. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I have nothing to the right stronger than a 5, unfortunately, so that's kind of stuck. That being said, I could fortify my position and put this here. Until he then plays that. Okay. Uh, Zumba time. Yes. I have, I have the wasp back. You gonna try and capture my wasp? Yeah, you are. I can handle your wasp though. Look at look at this. I have I have Pakun. Yeah. You weren't ready for that. I think I still lose though, because he yeah, yeah, back in there. Okay. We gotta beat this guy. We gotta be the better champion. We have all the cards in the game. To be honest, that was easy. It doesn't help when I keep drawing wow, he burnt that card. Okay then. To be honest though, I can't really do much about it, apart from play him against himself. So I suppose, that being the case, I'm just going to have to like, sort of, guard against it. Wow, I drew my octopus guy, and my bat. Um, but what I'm going to do then, I'm going to play my octopus guy there, and hope he just places a card above it to capture it. He doesn't. Okay, that didn't work. This hand just sucks, honestly. But I can at least put this here, which will capture that back. Let's see what he puts below it. Okay, that's captured that back. Let's see if that AI falls for this. Nope, nope it doesn't. Wow, he just drew all the power cards. Calm down, son. I mean, I'll get back my, my piranha plant, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was, that was too easy. Try again another day. No, I shall defeat you now. I shall be the champion. This is, this is a hand that, that could, could work. I see possibilities of this end. Let's put this here. Alright, that's that's not unexpected. Put this here. So currently even. And captures it with a spider. But I can capture it back of a spider. He then puts a Pakun down. But I can then play Zephos here. Which means Zephos is safe from the top. So he just plays that because he can. And I play that because I can and I win! Ha ha! I am the champion! Yes! Ha-ha! <laughs> I have card champion! I have defeated all the decks. That guy's facing the wrong direction now. <laughs> so the one thing that I cannot do, unfortunately, now I did try, is to go back to the ruins of uh, Saradak and uh, try to get the last remaining item. I, I went through the whole thing and no one dropped a thing. So I think that that's not possible with this playthrough. That being said, I think we're pretty much ready to go and end the game. We'll save that for next episode though, so let's go and heal up with this nice nurse woman here. Hello! Thank you for your healing powers, and we shall save. And when we come back, we'll conclude Let's Play Evoland.